Good evening. Are you awake? Is this Tanya Abelman? Can I have a word with you? Yes, um, excuse me, who are you? My name is Amy. I'm a 21-year-old college student. Yeah, is that so? I don't know any college girls, and I don't have any friends named Amy. I don't even remember exchanging contacts with you. How did you get my number? I mean, how do you know my name? I took a peek at Jay's phone, and I saw your phone number while he was sleeping. I'm dating Jay. I thought I'd tell you today. That's why I contacted you. What do you think? Are you surprised? Huh? Jay? Yeah, Jay. You know Jay, don't you? I'm Jay's girlfriend. Jay is my husband's name. What? Girlfriend? Don't tell me that my husband is cheating on me. And you're his girlfriend? I don't like it when people call it cheating. Well, it is for now, right? You're still technically his wife. If you and Jay get divorced, I can be his wife. I'm the one he really loves. So in effect, you're the one who's cheating on me with? Hold on just one minute. I can't believe you just blurted that out. You don't believe me? I'll show you proof. How do you like this photo taken when we went skiing the other day? Don't we look so in love? This is... It's definitely Jay. Jay's here on assignment, right? We met at a bar where we often go out for drinks. We fell in love at first sight and started dating. You mean you're his on-site wife? You're going out with him knowing he is married? I heard he had a wife. Jay said he wanted to get rid of you, so I thought it'd be okay. You've lost your charm since you got older, and you've become a nag. You're a full-time housewife, but you're bossy and annoying, and he said he's tired of being with you. He wants to be comforted by a young and cute girl like me. I started going out with him because he said he would divorce you and make me his wife. So, ex-wife, I'll give you $50,000 to leave your husband. What? Fifty thousand? That's right. A severance package, like alimony. If the divorce gets messy, we'll have to go to court, right? It's such a hassle. You're a housewife and you get fifty thousand dollars, so you'll be happy, right? I'll give you the money, so come on and get divorced. Are you really going to pay fifty thousand dollars? As compensation, you're a college student, right? Do you have that much money? I sure do. Unlike you, a housewife, I'm rich. Rich? You're a college student. How did you earn it? It's not that I earned it. I was born rich. I was born into the upper class. I am prettier, younger, nobler, and everything else better than you, a middle-aged wife. I'm a much better match for Jay than a menopausal old lady. He said he'd prefer someone young and he doesn't care about you anymore. Do you understand? I'll give you the money, so just break up with Jay. Please wait. I'm pretty confused right now. Could you give me a little time to sort out the situation and confirm the facts? About three days? Three days? Do you need to confirm the facts? It's clear that he wants to get rid of you. Stop messing around and just get divorced. Even if we get divorced, I need to get my affairs in order. I have a lot of things to do. I'll get it all done in three days. Oh well, I guess I don't have a choice. Okay then, you have just three days. After that, make sure you leave him, hag. Hey, hag. It's been three days. Are you ready for divorce? Long time no see. It's been exactly three days since you contacted me. You know, it's kind of weird that I'm speaking so politely to you. I mean, if you think about it, you're younger than me, you're having an affair, and you're not someone I can respect. I'm going to speak casually. 
I don't really care about that. We'll be strangers soon anyway. I gave you three days like I promised. Why don't you just divorce Jay and go away? Don't stall for time and cling on like a fool. I'm not clinging on. I've been preparing for the divorce for the past three days to gain the upper hand. I've been doing some light background checks on you. What? What do you mean? What background check? Based on your name and account, photo icon, I identified the social networking sites you use. I narrowed down the individuals by checking the area around where Jay travels for business. From there, I found out the university you attended, the apartment you currently live in, where your parents live, your family structure, and your family's occupation. The elementary, junior high, and high schools you attended. Your grades, friendships. I was able to find out everything I could about you on a personal basis. You've been posting pictures of your college and neighborhood on social media, haven't you? I could easily identify you. Is that what you call internet literacy among young people these days? Total lack of urgency. Huh? What? What's that supposed to mean? Hey, are you a stalker? You mean I was being stalked by an old lady? It's just so creepy. That's a crime. Speaking of crime, Amy, I heard you shoplifted cosmetics from a department store in high school. Huh? How did you know that? I told you I looked into it. And you were making pocket money by reselling the shoplifted items at a discount inside the school. I heard that the department store and the police didn't catch you. But it's a crime, isn't it? Why don't you look back at your own behavior before calling others criminals? Huh? Wait! No. So what? That was a long time ago. It's past the statute of limitations. I was underage then. It's no big deal. And I'm not doing that anymore. You're right. You don't shoplift now. You're just doing a business introducing sugar daddies to girls. You earn money by getting paid as an intermediary, right? What? How did you find that out? It used to be your ex-boyfriend's business. I heard it wasn't really a sugar daddy business at the time. After your ex-boyfriend got caught by the police, you started using his connections to control the business. I know you're doing something similar at your university. And by the way, you've been involved in the sugar daddy business too. That's how you met Jay, isn't it? Jay himself seems to have given you a lot of money. Oh, come on! I thought it was strange. You claim to be from an upper class family, but that was just a vain pretense. Your family is only little better off than a middle class family. There are three children, including your brothers. Looking at your Instagram, I see that you lavishly spend money on beauty salons and aesthetic clinics. And you buy expensive brand name products quite often. A college student from a middle class family can't live like that, right? You also said you were rich. I also wondered where you would get $50,000 from. I had no idea you were running such a shady business. Wait a minute! What's going on? How can you find out something like that? It's absolutely impossible to know that much just from a picture on a social networking site. Who are you? How did you find out? You're just a housewife, right? You want to know? Well then, I'll tell you who I am. What? Who are you? Well, my identity isn't something grandiose, but you see, I used to work at a private investigator's office. A private investigator's office? Yes, a company that does background checks on companies and individuals. I quit when I got married because my cheating husband made me, but I was known as an ace. I took my old skills and used them to investigate you. I was surprised to find out more than I expected. Identifying personal information from an SNS photo is a piece of cake. I've also found evidence of more subtly hidden affairs. It was easy with a college girl's lack of security awareness. So what? What happened in the past is none of your business. Snooping around on me with a grudge because I cheated with your husband is so immature. It's disgusting. I mean, what do I care if you know? It's all statutory anyway. Sugar dating is not a crime either. I don't know if you're planning to sue me, but it's a waste of time. I'm not suing you for this, let alone for cheating with my husband. 
But your dad is a police officer, right? I hear that he's in a pretty high position. I don't know much about it, but I hear there's a lot of rivalry among police officers. It happens all the time in TV dramas, right? If one of your relatives is a criminal, an internal conflict starts up. If I accidentally leak your activities somewhere, what would happen to your father or your stay-at-home mom? What would happen to your little brothers in high school? What? You? What are you gonna do to my mom and dad? It's not fair to threaten me! I'm not threatening anyone. I'm just going to tell your parents, and that you're cheating with someone else's husband, or that you were going to pay me to leave him. I've been horribly harassed by you. How will you take responsibility? I'll say stuff like that. Oh, come on! My parents have nothing to do with this! What? Are you kidding me? Even though you're an adult, you're still a student. You're still under the care of your parents. So how can they not be involved? You didn't think you could get out of this without your parents finding out, did you? You're so naive. I bet you've been spoiled your whole life. Parents have to take responsibility for what their children do. Besides, you need to be well-educated so that this kind of thing won't happen in the future. Stop it! I said I would pay you 50000 Be happy with that! Don't tell my mom and dad! I won't forgive you if you do! Stop? Don't tell them? You won't forgive me? Do you understand what position you're in? How about I inform the university you worked so hard to get into? The more you dig, the more dirt you find. Think carefully about your actions and choose your words wisely. There's other stuff I haven't told you yet. For example, when you took the college entrance exam. No! Please don't! Please don't tell my parents and don't tell anyone at school! I'm sorry! I apologize! You know what, sweetheart? If all you had to say was sorry, you wouldn't need the police or the courts, would you? Didn't your parents teach you that either? Or did you forget? Otherwise, you wouldn't have done something so stupid, would you? I'm sorry! I'm so sorry! Please forgive me! Well, as long as you take responsibility, I can forgive you for the affair. After we divorce, whether you marry Jay or break up with him, you can do whatever you want. I don't need a man who's on the verge of ruin like that. What? On the verge of ruin? Jay's got his own dark secrets, too. I guess like attracts like. When you guys go out on dates or go on long car rides, Jay uses the company car and pays for the gas as an expense. And that Jay is embezzling company money to pay you off. I'm going to tell Jay's company everything. Then Jay will be fired at worst, right? Well, even if he doesn't get fired, he won't be able to work for such a company anymore. He'll be unemployed, he'll have to pay compensation, and he'll probably end up living in debt. What? Wait! You're gonna do that to your own husband too? Are you the devil? Don't you have a human heart? Huh? Are you talking about a fool who would cheat on his wife with such a stupid little girl? He's not my husband. It's the people who cheat on their spouses who don't have a human heart, right? My alimony will be paid in a lump sum from his savings. I don't care what happens after that. But that's going too far! I mean, the punishment is too much! Punishment? That's not what I'm talking about. It's just that while I was looking into the affair, I found out about the company's car and the embezzlement by accident. I'm just checking with the company. It's part of the investigation of the affair. No problem, right? And it's up to the company to decide what to do in the end, not me, okay? But, but Jay! I don't care if you're defending your handsome and sweet boyfriend, Jay. You should worry about yourself. Huh? I've already told your parents what you did. What? What? Why my parents? When did this happen? I mean, not really told them, but it's more likely they're reading the documents right now. I wrote them a letter and sent it out yesterday. I think they should have gotten it by now, and I'm sure you'll be hearing from your parents as well. Oh, I've wrote everything I found out in the documents. It covers everything I haven't mentioned here yet, such as this and that. Come on! You said you wouldn't tell them! That's not what you promised! You lied! You're a fucking bitch! I can't believe it! Hmm... Did I promise not to tell them? 
I didn't, did I? I don't make promises to people like you. We had to talk about the affair anyway. Sooner or later, they would have found out, right? Oh no! I just got a call from my dad! Oh, well that's great! You guys are going to have a long talk. This is a good opportunity for you to get that twisted disposition of yours straightened out. Let's talk again through a lawyer. Okay then, bye! Twenty or thirty minutes after I finished my chat with Amy, I received an outraged phone call from Jay. He tried to make excuses, got upset, and even cried. After completely ignoring everything and going through a lawyer, I went ahead and blocked him. A few days later, we had a meeting with all parties involved. Amy's parents said that they would use all of Amy's savings as compensation, but it was more than twice the standard amount, and I couldn't accept money from a dubious source. So I asked her parents to pay a reasonable amount of money on her behalf. Amy's father, a police officer, severely scolded her and forced her to quit college. She was forced to work under the supervision of her parents to pay back the compensation they had paid on her behalf. She decided to donate the dubious money she had saved somewhere. Money is money, even dirty money, so it's good if it can be of some use to society. Amy told her parents that she wanted to marry Jay. Naturally, they were vehemently opposed, and Jay refused to marry her, so she lost all will. <laughs> Jay was screaming that he didn't want to get a divorce, but when I pointed out the embezzlement case to him, he immediately agreed to divorce and alimony payments and signed the divorce papers. Well, after the divorce, I'm going to quietly tell the company about Jay's wrongdoings. I hope both of them will regret the way they underestimated me. After the divorce, I went back to work for the company I used to work for. I am working hard, enjoying my job, and making a good living. Thank you for watching. Please rate the video and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video.